In this video, we're going to look at the tenant's experience when it comes to payments on the Managed app. Tenants have the ability to log in and view their payments in real time. They can change both their payment settings and their payment alerts, and they can download any reports that they deem relevant. Once they log in, they click their profile button in the top right hand corner and they navigate to their payment settings first. Now think about this as like buying something on an online store. You simply have a payment method as to how you'd like to check out. In Managed App, the tenant has three options. They've got BPay, direct debit or credit card. They also have a settings here, uh, section here where they can enter a BSBN account number for they would like to receive payments if they ever need to be paid money out of the platform. When they're set to BPay, they will have the option to auto match from their wallet. So a wallet is a digital account, so it allows them to save money in their profile. And if they want that money to be automatically assigned to rent and bills, they check those boxes that you can see on the screen. If they prefer to use one of the other payment methods, they can use credit card or direct debit from their BSBN account number by entering that method and setting it as the active payment method. Now, direct debits and credit card payments are fully automated on the due date. So the moment that rent falls due, our system will draw the money from their account. You have, once you have a look at the transactions tab, the tenant will be able to see the next rental payment that's due the date that it relates to, they can see their paid to date and amounts, and they can also see their full history with how, when they paid, how much they paid, and what payment method they used as well. Now this is their live transaction history. If they'd like a PDF, they can download their ledger as a PDF or a CSV if they'd prefer in that format. When they open their PDF, they'll be able to see a tenancy snapshot, they'll be able to see lease information, and a full history of those transactions. Now, if you ever have a tenant that's not that great with technology or doesn't have access to their managed app profile, the agency can download this report for them and share any way they like. If a tenant wants to pay early, it's important to remember that they have to press the pay button. So whether or not that's money sitting in their wallet that hasn't matched, or they've got a credit card or a bank account, the rent isn't due yet, if they'd like to pay early, they press the big purple pay button next to that transaction. That will take them to a summary screen, where they can review the information and confirm that payment is ready to go. Once they've clicked that payment, it will process straight through the payment system. You'll also note in the tenant's profile that there is another report here called BPay in report. Now what this is, is if a tenant uses the BPay payment method, it will show them all the individual payments they've made. So this is particularly handy if you've got a share house. Maybe you've got three tenants on a $900 a week property all be paying in 300 a week. Because they're using the same bill of code and reference number, they might want a report showing who's paid what. The other thing that a tenant can do in their profile is change their notification preferences. So if they'd like a receipt for every payment they make, they can turn that on. And if they'd like to receive an, a reminder when rent is due, three business days prior to that rental payment falling due, they can turn on that reminder just before rent is due.